In the highlands of Cameroon, Lake Neos rests quietly amidst lush volcanic terrain. However, on the night of August 21st, 1986, this serene landscape turned catastrophic. A sudden and deadly event claimed the lives of nearly 1,800 people and countless animals. What caused this historic disaster? Let's uncover the events of that fateful night. Lake Nios is a crater lake formed thousands of years ago by volcanic activity. Beneath its still waters, carbon dioxide, CO2, had been accumulating over time. This gas seeped from deep within the earth and became trapped at the lake's bottom due to its great depth and unique structure. By 1986, the lake contained an enormous amount of CO2 with some water layers holding up to 90% of the gas. This phenomenon is called lake stratification. Think of it like a bottle of soda with pressure keeping the gas dissolved in the water. The lake's stillness and depth allowed the gas to remain hidden, creating a ticking time bomb below the surface. The volcanic geology of the region continued feeding CO2 into the lake, further compounding the danger. On the night of August 21st, 1986, this delicate balance was shattered. A landslide, earthquake or some other disturbance is believed to have triggered a violent release of the trapped CO2. The water at the bottom of the lake rapidly rose, releasing the gas in an explosive event known as a limnic eruption. This massive CO2 cloud, heavier than air, spread quickly over nearby valleys. The gas displaced oxygen, suffocating nearly 1,746 people and 3,500 animals. Entire villages were left silent. Survivors described hearing a loud rumbling sound and detecting a strange smell, like rotten eggs or gunpowder before losing consciousness. The disaster shocked the world, prompting an urgent scientific investigation. Initial theories suggested acidic gases caused burns on the victims, but further studies confirmed that the injuries resulted from the physical effects of rapid asphyxiation. To prevent future tragedies, engineers installed degussing pipes to release CO2 from the lake's depths gradually. This event also drew attention to similar lakes around the globe. Just two years earlier, a smaller CO2 release from Lake Manaun, located about 100 kilometers away, had killed 37 people. These incidents underscored the importance of monitoring volcanic crater lakes and understanding their potential hazards. Today, Lake Nios is monitored closely, and ongoing efforts have made it significantly safer. Yet, this disaster remains a sobering reminder of the hidden dangers in natural systems and the need for vigilance in protecting vulnerable communities. But the Lake Nios tragedy also serves as a stark reminder of how interconnected our world is. A natural event, seemingly isolated, had devastating consequences for an entire community. Lake Nios stands as both a testament to nature's power and humanity's resilience. Thanks to scientific intervention, the lake is safer now, but its story continues to echo through history. Thank you for joining us to learn about the Lake Neos disaster, one of history's most unusual and devastating environmental events. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from history and science. Do you have a topic you'd like us to cover? Let us know in the comments below. See you next time.